Well, today is Thursday, November 4th, and it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, and Casey just got home from work. I'm sitting out behind the house, and she's watching the kids now, so I couldn't get out here any sooner, but, um, you know, these deer, I don't know why this year, but they're just so nocturnal. They don't move till last light or, you know, after dark, but it's November. Anything can happen. I have a perfect wind tonight. You want to sit this stand on either a straight west or southwest wind and I got a southwest wind that blows me kind of right back up here towards the house and uh, it's warm out it's not you know ideal hunting conditions but it's November 4th anything can happen I just need a a hot doe that the bucks are interested in to come in here and have a nice buck following her and I got two bucks back here I gotta I'd shoot there's a real real heavy tall um, brow tine 10 pointer I mean, he's number one on the hit list, and I've had zero daylight anything of him, and then he was right down here on the mock scrape on the 28th. It was like light rain that day. Light rain that day, and it was an east-northeast wind, which is the absolute best wind for a deer to get up onto this food plot and, uh, you know, smell everything before they even get into this area. So he had the ideal conditions that day. It was light rain, the perfect wind for him. And he was down here on this scrape, and then he walked up right to the freaking house. This was at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, he was right up there by the house in the other food plot. He hit that scrape. And then I think it was like 4.30 in the afternoon, the other buck that I'd shoot, he's a big wide 8-pointer, he was right here on this other mock scrape in front of me. So both shooter bucks were in here in the daylight that day, and they hit all three scrapes that I got. So... Let's just hope one of them shows up tonight and I can get a get an arrow in one and uh, complete my 2021 Wisconsin bull season. It's been a rough one, but I'm not giving up.
Bet. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> oh, he's oh. <laughs> stop right there. <sighs> Second hunt on this <laughs> food plot this year. The first buck off our property. What a freaking monster. <sighs> oh, perfect daylight yet. <sighs> he, he, he didn't go 30 yards. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. <sighs> what a season. <laughs> and it all came together right here on my food plot. <sighs> He's down right there. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> yes! <sighs> I wonder how much shot I got on video, but I don't care. He is, he's done. Excited? Yeah. Well, there was what to me was there's a little buck chasing the doe. Did you see that one? You're chasing the fawn. Yeah. The little one is chasing oh. the fawn. So, uh, right to the pond. Let's go find it. I hope you enjoy it. The fawn came right to the pond and then he went and nudged that other little buck off. I hope right you enjoy it. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, you got to do this way. Deer. He's not wide, but he's got everything else. He's got Look at his bladed brows. Oh, huge. Perfect shot. I mean, you couldn't have got any. No. Couldn't have drilled him any better than that. What's that? You have stick tights everywhere. Is that Daddy's big buck? I like your Daddy buck. You don't like Daddy's buck? Why not? He's got stick tights all over. Daddy, I like him. You want to come sit by him? No. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. 
He's a dandy. Well, here he is. We're getting a little better video of him. Uh, this is a pretty cool hunt just because I shot him right behind our house here on our five acres and plenty of daylight left. The kids got to come out and do the track job and uh, they had fun and I just, I can't believe I finally got a buck this year. It's been a, it's been a tough season. I've been, you know, I always hunt public land and that's what I've been hunting as usual and um, Casey tagged out so the food plot back here was all to myself for the rest of the season and we've just been so busy with work and everything I never even got a chance to hunt back here I came back here once and tried to kill a doe and never saw a deer so today was only the second day that this food plot in our property has ever been hunted and that's you know probably one of the keys to success here is we only have five acres and you gotta you gotta hunt it when the uh, time is right and not over pressure it and that's kind of been what we what we've been doing the last few years we only hunt it maybe once in uh, September once or twice just to try and fill a doe tag and then we leave it alone and watch our pictures until we start getting decent bucks on camera and uh, showing up in daylight and Casey last year she sat here about this same time and seen our biggest shooter buck but couldn't get a shot at him and uh, I, this was our biggest shooter buck this year and I pulled it off and like I set up in the tree stand before uh, weather conditions weren't great today it's kind of warm out but I had a perfect wind uh, I need a, a west or a southwest wind and that's exactly what I had and with the warmer temps I said I'm gonna need some sort of a hot dough to bring a bring a buck in hopefully there was this one and that's exactly what happened he come he actually come right down our four-wheeler trail from up by the house and was coming around on the four-wheeler trail and the little buck come up here chasing it looked like a fawn it wasn't it was a doe it wasn't very big and uh, this guy went over there and nudged the other little buck off and that fawn came right down to the pond and that was another that pond was a great uh, addition this year that really brought the deer in and kept them around because there's no water around here for quite a ways so that pond was a big help fawn came down here got on the pond pond and you know it was a great little decoy there for me and he come right down through the food plot here and stuck him at 20 yards and he didn't go another 25 yards so just a great hunt I I'm glad I got my Wisconsin tag filled that that's less stress on me now and I can head down to Iowa next uh, Tuesday night I'm leaving I got 10 12 days down there to hunt and we'll see if I can't get an Iowa buck Thank <laughs> you.